Hey you guys, welcome back. My name is John Guthrie and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process from start to finish on how to refinance your student loans. Last week's video, I walked through some examples of how much money you could save by refinancing your student loans. And in this week's video, I'm gonna walk through from start to finish how to refinance your student loans using my referral code from Laurel Road and that's gonna get you $120 deposited directly in your bank account when you use that code. So check the description below and use that link for a free $120, guys. So before we get started, we're gonna need a couple things beforehand to make this process so much easier. Number one, we're gonna need a provider to actually refinance your student loans through. There's a link down in the description below and in last week's video, and that link is gonna get you $120 deposited directly into your account when you refinance using my code. So go ahead and click on that link, guys. And in this video, I'm gonna use that link and walk you through the entire process. All right, guys, so second, you're gonna need a copy of your last two paychecks so they can verify your income. And third, you're gonna need a 30-day payoff statement from whoever your student loan is currently through. So as soon as you get that stuff together, guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here we are at my last video. I'm gonna scroll down to the description, and right here is that referral code I was talking about. So as you can see, free $120 deposited to your bank account when you refinance using this code. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, and just follow along with me, guys. Okay, guys, so I just clicked on that link, and it took me to Laurel Road's website. So here, I'm gonna fill out my profile, education and employment, and do my legal confirmations, and I'll get back with you guys. Just a quick tip, guys, when you get down into the education and employment section, it's gonna ask you for the total loan balance you wanna re refinance, and this is going to be the same amount that's on your 30-day payoff statement. So it's important that you get that beforehand to make this process smoother. I'm gonna keep going, and I'll see you guys in a sec. So guys, down here, you're giving Laurel Road permission to pull a soft pull on your credit. This is not gonna affect your credit at all. It just does a soft pull to give you a preliminary rate, and they do a hard pull later on once you decide that you do wanna use Laurel Road. So we're gonna scroll down through here, agree. Scroll down through here, agree. Scroll down, agree. Scroll down, agree. Blah, 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 agree. Blah, 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 agree. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and continue. So it's gonna take a couple seconds for it to submit, and then we're gonna move on to the next section. Okay, so as you can see up on the screen, they're not able to provide me an instant rate right now, so we gotta give them a little bit more information and then they're gonna give us a rate. So down here, guys, you're gonna fill out a little bit more information. They're gonna ask about your finances, so fill out your employer, how long you've worked there, what type of job it is, your title, your housing status, if you rent or if you own a house. Down here in supporting documentation, this is gonna be where you use your, your student loan payoff statement, so that's the 30-day statement that we got. Your proof of income, this is where you're gonna put your two most recent pay stubs. Your proof of education, and this is, they can auto verify this. So if you click on this auto verify button, we'll do this right now. Auto verification in progress. Might take a couple seconds. Okay, boom. Successfully auto verified my education, and then you can upload any additional information if you want. Just a quick tip on the finance section, guys. Make sure your employer matches word for word the name of your employer on your paycheck. I've had this happen a couple times where it's actually rejected and, and I've had to re-upload because the name wasn't exactly right. So make sure you do that. It's gonna save you a couple days because it does take a couple days for them to verify your information. So make sure you do it right the first time so you don't have to redo it again. One other thing, if you do live with somebody, they may request a second wage earner pay stub. This is just to verify that if you are living with somebody, they are making a wage and they are contributing to your rent. I'm not sure exactly why they need that information, but they do, so just fill it out. Okay guys, now I'm not gonna fill all this stuff out because I already have a loan and I don't need to refinance right now. But once you're done filling everything out, you'll be able to go down to this final approval and closing, and that's where they'll do the hard credit pull. Now, my experience with Laurel Road, they can take up to two weeks to get your loan offer to you. So be patient, they'll get back to you, make sure you have all the supporting documentation, your finances are in there correctly, and then go ahead and submit your loan application, guys. And it's that simple. This took me 20 minutes, it'll take you 20 minutes, and in a matter of a couple weeks, you're gonna have your loan offer on the table, ready to accept to save a ton of money. So guys, if this helped you at all, be sure to like this video and subscribe. I upload a video every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And let me know if you use my referral link, guys. I put it up on the last video and I've already had two people use it. There's only 10 available, so there's eight left. Make sure you click on that link so you can get your $120 as soon as possible and so that nobody else gets it. I don't wanna give my money away. Do you wanna give your money away? No. Okay guys, I'll see you next time.